CopaKeyboardSchool.com. Hey guys, this is Roland Blase, CopaKeyboardSchool.com. Now what you just heard was a backing track. I just created it last night. It's for free download on my website. It's also in a new Copa course for beginners that I have. The 1999 course for beginners that I have. Um, also go to CopaKeyboardSchool.com for sound. Let's get right to it. What key are we playing in? A minor, which is a relative of C major. So we're in A minor. So what's your A minor scale? So you're only gonna use those notes. So what's your chord progression? So it starts with an A minor then a D minor, then an E major, then a D minor, then an A minor again. So you notice the one, two, three, two. So two is your passing chord. It's really a, a six. So you hear six, six, two, three, Six. So yes, your two is your passing chord, because it's really just A and E, but with two is in the middle, in between it. So. so let's go ahead and get started, guys. What am I doing? I am using the response technique. How am I doing that? So in the beginning, I do this. What is that? What is that? This is an inverted A minor. And I showed you guys in the course that I just came out with last week that with soloing, one of the rules of soloing, you can walk up from your first note to your third note. A, B, C. So, this is your A minor inverted. And using the response technique, we're going to play the passing chord, which is two in the lower octave. See, I'm just walking up and down from the one to the three of this chord here, this D minor chord. And then I do the same thing I did on A with the regular E major here. So, And I'll do the same thing in the lower octave with the D. So I'm using my passing chord lower and the other two chords higher. And for the second solo, what did I do, guys? For the second solo, I went... Something like that. But as you can see the technique, I'm just using the passing chord high for the second part. And then I'm freestyling with the other chords on a lower octave. So that's how you use your passing chord with the response technique. Now we can also use the response technique in a different way. We can use A and D on the high octave and then E and D on the low octave. We can split it 50-50. We don't have to do one note, one chord here, one chord there, one chord here. So let's do that. Let's do the A and D in the higher octave. And I'm going to play the beat to show you guys how you can use the response technique with the minor chord in a different way. That's a 50-50 response technique. Let's try it again. This time we're gonna put the E in D higher and the A in D lower. Watch this, guys.
blase, a little bit more on the response technique in the minor key. Thank you guys for tuning in. Remember, check out compakeyboardschool.com. Roland Blase signing out. Something that's good for me.